Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Foran here, and today we are kicking it off inside the prison. So we left up here last episode, got a good night's sleep, and we have had banging constantly since we signed off. From these guys, probably. That'll do it. I reckon we take care of them. So I would very much like to get this place completely cleared out, top to bottom. There's probably a oh, fair bit of the squirrel areas, I'm sure. Like 99% sure someone has been going on about him for a while, so... He's coming with us. He's coming on the biggest journey of his life. But yeah, this place tends to be pretty stockpiled with food and just goodies in general. I think getting this place cleared out is two spiffos. Getting this place cleared out is going to be valuable as anything. We could, we could have the most spiffos we've ever seen. This could be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that this would be the goal for this character's life, just to be on the full spiffo alert. But we've gained two, and a nice fair bet. We're doing well. It's the most spiffos I've seen. And we've got one back at base. We're off to a good start. Little toy bear. I'll leave him on the bed. Hmm. Maybe on the unit. There we go. Looks nice and cosy up there. When we leave this place, he can be... The Watcher of us all. Nice. Alright, I think what I would like to do is just try and push my way through these catacombs a bit. Don't really want to have to go room to room to draw them all out, but it feels like we don't really have much choice right now. Where did you get a rifle? Empty, but point still stands. Where did you get a rifle? Do you reckon? Nah, it's probably worth doing the ground floor first. Yeah, let's have a little let's have a little scan of the world. Look at the mess out here, man. We're only gonna add to it. Alright, I think to our right is just another courtyard. Look like when we were using that AK. Yeah, a lot of them were just passing through. That's quite cool. It's been a while since I played Prison Architect, but it could be worth, you know, taking some advice. Enable force selected. Taking some hints from the prison world itself. Uh, anything we need? Two Berettas, one with a mag. Thank you, sir. A wood axe, always good. Uh, let's get rid of you. Let's get our little slasher knife out. Beautiful. Take that magazine and bury it. Alright. One wood axe. Always nice. Survivor knife I will take. And that hunter knife too. Christ. My <laughs> my computer does not like this game today. My god. We are looking at 476 inventory. Makes a whole lot more sense. The lag is very, very real. Um, you know, I'll take that as a backup. That's basically brand new. Slightly better than ours, but... Oh, candy cigs. Go on in. Wherever you have gone. Oh, I want you. Was all the way down the bottom, wasn't it? Yeah. It's going to help our happiness massively. All these mint candies and stuff. Game changer. Alright, let's move swiftly on. Let's go back to the scrap spear. I think this room's going to be pretty dicey. Oh, and the library. Nice. You know what, I get the feeling that all of these rooms are going to be pretty sketchy. Start with this one. Christ. Yeah, it's a damn good thing that we <laughs> put that AK to work before even thinking about coming here. This is ridiculous. There's one, two, and three. Lovely. Anything going on over here? Frying pan. Chair leg. Okay, we can still pick them off through the window. That's good. Uh, can peas, bonbons, mint candies. Again, anything to help our unhappiness. It's going to be a game changer, isn't it? So being deep down underground. Well, not underground. More wood axes. But down in the dark and not really doing a lot is going to be a killer. Would like to find a proper bathroom as well. You know, a decent toilet, sink, just so we can get them... Refreshed, I guess. A 
kind of thought this room would be deadlier, but apparently not. Uh, get me out of there. It's the lunges. They are the worst. But I cannot take you. Okay. I mean, so far, so good. I'm kind of tempted to shout, but I know that this place can be pretty... pretty weird with spawning. Do you know what I mean? If I shout and an army of Zeds just pours down on us, that would not be good. Not at all. You guys coming through, or am I going to have to come to you? Going to have to come to you. That's fine. Any good food? Alright, let's turn that off. Homemade car booster. Would actually be quite handy. Snag those mushrooms, though. Only going to rot anyway. Alright, kitchen. We're on the other side of it. Oh, did they bar it off? Oh, no, it's like a servant window. Makes sense. Makes a whole other sense. Anything down here? If you're not a fully qualified carpenter, you've got some burning to do. This place would be perfect for it. These tables are pretty good for gaining skills, and there's plenty of them. You might have to go for a bit of a mess first, but... I mean, if you're in the area, there's probably no harm in stopping by. One chilli, one mushroom. Goodbye. Empty tin can. We got another big Z bomb over there. Oh, I'm not poking that with a stick. So that's sign of my own death certificate. Screw that. What are you? You look big. That's a bread knife. Yeah, of course it is. Alright, let's play the safe game. There we go. Big Z bombs everywhere. Christ. <laughs> Why are all those Zeds in the corner just stood completely still? Oh, I want to see all of those outside just explode. But I'm living in a lot of fear. <laughs> okay, uh, let's, let's do the smart thing here. Let's take out the mess in front of us first and then deal with that chaos. You can even hear the music lagging. It takes a whole lot of Zeds to pull that off. Alright, how are we going to get through that? I need to take out that window, really. But the spear doesn't want to break it. Oh, it's just shooting straight through. Hmm, okay, fair enough. doesn't want to be broken. I guess we can cross that bridge when we make it outside. I have no idea how many are there. Doesn't feel like it's ever going to end. Alright, we can fill up there. That's good. There's one. Let's fill up our canteen and then get rested. Try and find a way around. Would very much like to get around there. It does look quite fun. Although we're probably not going to be able to speed up time. Come on, don't go through. Good lad. Rest. Just completely broke the music. <laughs> nice. Um, open. Yeah, we can smash half a box of these. It's going to sort us right out. Beautiful. Gets us up to 16 as well. So we are just slightly over capacity. Uh, that looks terrifying. I wonder if there's like a, a garage door that'll take us out. Straight through the back rooms. Hey up fellas. What's going on? Who brought in the survival knife? Was it you? Just a cheap one. Could have been any of you. Thought someone was packing some heat, but apparently not. Doesn't seem like there's a back room here either. Or a back door. Hmm. 
Yeah, nothing too crazy. I wonder how many generators it would take to fully power this place. Four? Five? Six? No idea. Is there a way out? Yeah, boy. Can we just sprint through? Yeah, hope for the best. Um, I reckon it's time for an AK. Feels about right to me. You know what? We should check around the back first. That's probably the best idea. Make sure we're all clear and then work our way through that way. So yeah, clearing that out. Wouldn't be the worst idea either. Ah, oh, this back straight onto the field. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a good time for an AK. This is also a great prison design. One simple back door and you are smooth sailing out of here. Great prison design. <laughs> just going to go for a little tactical sprint the whole way down and around just to see if there is actually an exit. You know, just to make sure I'm not given this prison design grief when there isn't actually an exit and I'm going to get myself stuck. Because, yeah, that would suck. But, yeah, if memory serves well. Straight around the front to the car park. Perfect. There's a nice prison truck there as well. If that's got fuel, we could always siren that. Uh, left. I think that's the side you drive on. Siren burn. Not a bad idea. Smash the front right window. There we go. Took way longer than planned. Always one. Ah, in this case, there's many. <laughs> Come on, lads. Yeah, kind of thinking. Slap the siren on. Take it round to that back end. Get a fire going and bring the AK out. Take it through in full force. Tempting. Very tempting. Would be fun. It's been a very long time since I've done a Siren Baron too. I reckon this could be the perfect opportunity for one. And we've got a new spear. Thanks, friends. Oh, today just keeps getting better and better. Spear with cheap survival knife. Thank you, sir. Knew we wouldn't have the space. We are one can pee away. Let's get you out. And I hate that he uses a machete for that, but that's okay. Guess it's kind of what we signed up for. Comes with a nice free box of nine mils as well. Perfect. Let's just get the back end open. Yeah, I might get started before we go too mad. If only the key was in the door. There we go. Bullets, bandolier, and a pack of MRE. Only weighs one. I'll take it. Sold. Um, yeah, Molotov? Should we do it? Drink. Nice. The only option. Do we have any sort of rag at all? Don't think we do. Your trousers are coming in handy, my friend. Okay. Make one Molotov cocktail. Leave all of you on the ground, and let's go and have some fun. Kind of thinking, drive straight around the back, switch out to the AK. It is on our back and ready. Get you in main inventory, ready to go on the offhand. Yeah, let's do it. Screw it, why not? We might have to do a little bit of uh, fiddliness whilst we're around here, but... I reckon we got this. Trouble is though, nothing can get in. Let's just let's just have a quick surveillance mission. Do you know what I mean? If nothing can get in from just about anywhere, then what's the point? They've got to be able to, surely. But 
if this is the delivery side, then that would just be a straight front exit, wouldn't it? That does kind of make sense. You know what? We've got tons of Molotovs here. What am I up to? Let's just let's just slap the siren on and have some fun. We can always go around and pull more Zeds in, you know? We are not going to run out, that's for sure. All right, for your benefit, I'm going to turn the game volume right down. Fingers crossed, that does the trick. Light bar, let's get that bad boy turned on. That's probably the most pleasant one. Um, we don't actually need this engine started, but it's running now. Come on, folks. Oh, we are super depressed. It's when we take out all the Zeds just in this section. This whole plan was a huge waste. Yeah, I think we're better off moving this. That's not running. She had left it running. I reckon we move this round to the front. Makes way more sense. Just opted to turn it off for now. But I do reckon I did. Christ, how did I make such a mess of that? <laughs> Took my eyes off the road for two seconds. Um, yeah, I did want an antidepressant as well, didn't I? Otherwise, we're going to be changing weapons way too slow and it's going to cause way too many issues. Uh, let's just have a quick peek around. It's a nice off-roader. Ah, this has pulled out a wild amount of Zeds. Um, yeah, definitely going to get stuck. Good place to get the siren on, though. We just pull them all down this way. I think I hopped in this without waiting for the click on the door. So I'm going to get moving. I think maybe we just leave it on this corner. Mm, maybe slightly down from this corner. Right about here. Do you reckon that's a good spot? I'd say that's a good spot. Give them the lads. Nice. Let's give that like a few minutes to build up, make a right mess, and then we can come back to it. This would have been the perfect weather for a pipe bomb. Does look pretty. Okay, one Molotov in hand. Let's do the thing. Right there, I reckon. Beautiful. Ah, what a beauty. Get on then, lads. Let's get you all moving. Been a while since I've seen you all flared up this much. Cool. Now this is what day one should have been. Oh, I wish I found that siren early on. Right, let's just try and pay a bit more attention. I'm staring up here. <laughs> Staring up there, like trying to see what's coming in and just completely forgetting these guys are right on my tail. Um, we may get stuck if we start losing exhaustion rapidly. Let's eat some food. Let's get some distance between us and them. Should have grabbed an energy drink as well. That would have been a good idea. Starting this barren at 7pm is probably not the best way to do it. Brilliant. Could see it coming a mile off, just chose to ignore it. Alright, vitamins or energy drinks? Do we have either? Should have a bunch of vitamins. Somewhere. There's no way I got through them all. I had like four packs on me. Uh, maybe we did. Maybe we did. Maybe we just left them behind, one or the other. Either way, not a great idea. Not a, not a strong start, that. Not good. We've still got a bunch of Zeds coming in, too. Should probably turn that siren off. Maybe. It never stops looking so cool, though, does it? And the lighting from the siren just... ah, oh, 
just does something to me. I don't know what it is, but it really hits the sweet spot. I love it all. It would be nice if cars could explode. That's one thing. One little downer. Ah, oh, brilliant. Didn't even reload. So if they could just overdo it and get blown up, that would honestly complete this game, I think. Ah! <laughs> Let, that <laughs> Let that go a little bit too long. Yeah, let's not do that again. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. All right, I'm going to work for it easy and then try and get back inside, I think. Don't want to spend the whole day just clearing Zed's outside again. It's fun being inside, all up close and personal. Okay, most of them are just crumbling behind us, so I think I'm going to have to leave that siren running for the night and let these just burn out and then figure out a plan in the morning. But I don't think I'm getting that siren off. If I can just wait these guys out, take them on a little journey, and then sleep, come back in the morning, figure out a plan, get back inside and start pushing our way through. Day two has come on the way very, very nicely. We're doing well. Got the odd Zed that isn't on fire behind us as well. I would like to try and maybe pick a few off, like this guy. Because if he, yeah, if he starts burning and I miss it, then I could be leading on for a while, and I'd rather not do that. There we go. Nicely done, boy. The rest of these are just biding their time now. Should be out in no time. We have just hit our second point of tide as well. Not good. Things start getting a little bit sketchy and a hell of a lot slower from there. If we can get big swings like that, though, that'd be nice. Oh, not like that. Not like that. That's one that I'm trying to avoid. We have still got the handgun if need be, but... I'd rather save that. Do you know what I mean? That is, that's a weapon that is actually beneficial to us on the move. Whereas the AK, not really. That's kind of specifically for this chaos. Way too loud. And I don't think there's a suppressor out there for it. At least not as far as I know. There's not really a lot of attachments for it at all. Oh, that's what I'm scared of. Those flames catching up. I think that's the last of them though. Let's head inside, let's do the smart thing and just tap out. Otherwise, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be busy, very tired, and start doing stupid things. I'll see you guys in the morning. So I broke out our MRE and had half of that for breakfast. We can actually add quite a lot to it, so we're feeling pretty good. And I forgot that we had the coffee in there. That would have been perfect yesterday. That would have been the biggest game changer we could have had. All of that stress could have been thrown out the window and we probably could have cracked on till like 3am but I'm kind of glad we disengaged when we did. So I think getting a good night's sleep was worth its weight in gold really. It's going to make today a hell of a lot nicer. This place doesn't look too bad though. I thought it was going to be a whole lot worse. Got old Boone out here waiting for us. Ah, oh, two military complex keys. I would like to go and see that place. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to consult some sort of map somewhere to try and track it down because we've got a lot of keys for that place i don't really know what it is but i know that snakes mod pack adds it in somewhere i reckon i reckon that could be a good one to try and crack on with just to see what the crack is really so i might i might try and take this truck back around with us get back up to the courtyard and see what mess the siren actually brought out so could have been fine. It could equally be a nightmare around there. And I could be driving into my own death. But there's one way to find out, isn't there? And that is always the rough way. I might take that bandage as well. I feel like I don't really have a lot. Not too far out. Lally. I do hate how much I battered this hood in like the first 10 seconds. Because this was a lovely truck. I think if I wasn't forced to take the bike, this would be my road truck, for sure. She pretty. And she's got a siren, so... Kind of a win-win. You look cool. There's no way that's a prisoner outfit. Ah, oh, it is. Very cool one. Looks way nicer than the orange. Wonder what he was in for. A whole bunch more coming to say hello. Uh, I reckon we're like slightly over halfway getting through this place. 
There's another wing that we are yet to see a full stop. So I've seen it through a window and it does not look pretty. We've also got this mess that's probably a mass big time down the side. Could be worth getting the Beretta out for it. Yeah, that's absolutely going to be a big bomb. Big old Z bomb. Yeah, my folks. I wonder if when that goes off, they'll merge through the fence or not. One way to find out. Right, let's get let's get the Beretta reloaded. Most important thing here. Yeah? Right, toothpick. Still got one. Let's leave that behind. Alright, let's see what mess this unfolds. Come on, break the window. We're just dropping bodies here. I want the chaos. Oh. <laughs> I don't want the chaos. Not like that. Come on, lads. Get back to it. I don't know why we couldn't break that from the inside. Hang on. What is that? Salvage climbing axe. Okay. It looks looked kind of axe-shaped, but I couldn't quite work it out. That's cool. Uh, you are empty. I believe we've got like 40 rounds in the bag, so we may as well just... Refill it. Get her loaded. Get her a going good. Straight back on the spear. I would very much like to break this off. So we're kind of a bit too full all round. It's starting to be a bit of a problem. I think for that other wing though, I'm going to try and take it hand to hand. We picked off an entire one with that AK. And I don't really want to do that again. Kind of like the idea of having the fear and just mess going on. Naked man... Naked man. Glad it's only one. I don't know how you got that water bottle in it or where that is lodged. I don't think I want to know. I'll leave you and your poo bottle behind. Definitely safer that way. Hey up, fella. Last little straggler on the move. Let's see what's going on down here. Looks like a good bunch of sets. Ah, and a kitchen. Let's leave that as is for now. And get rid of you before you cause a lot of problems. Come on, folks. Ooh. Looks like a tasty rifle, my friend. Ah, that's a shotgun. Even better. Nice magnum. I'll leave this as is for now. Is that a scrap spear I can see? Try and take our way through slowly to begin with. I say slowly. We're yeah, we're kinda gonna be thrown into the deep end very quickly. But they are gonna have to be a quick shot. Disperse the herd. Ah, we're getting tired too. Brilliant. Excellent timing. Another one down. Any more for any more? A ah, whole lot more. Quicker the better, please, guys. <laughs> Do not really want to have to be dealing with you whilst exhausted. Nice. Let's drop back and get rested. Do you reckon they'll be good for sneaking? So there's a big old ball in there. Don't quite know how many are in there, but if we can get semi close enough without stirring up the herd. No, I thought they'd be a whole lot better, to be fair. I thought they'd be a whole lot better. Right, let's try and break the window. Oh, my God. These Zed balls are just something else, aren't they? What is that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. The spear is going to break any second now. There's a cheerleader in there. Oh, 
Alright, let's maybe pull him outside. It's a very deadly encounter otherwise. And not for the Zeds. Ah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. Time to get our weight back on the rise. Um, where you at? Where you at, scrap spear? There we go. I really hope that's another one in there. Or a spear with a machete or something. So close to that level 10 mark as well. 6022. Not bad. Super close. Ah, there's way too many. Way more than I thought. Makes even less sense why the why the sneaking XP wasn't going so high. Weird. Oh, we've got a lot of looting to do. Give my folks. Um, let's go for the sprint. Oh, you joking? Now we need a propane torch and all of that jazz. We don't have any of that. Let's just leave that on the ground in there for now. I've already got one spear. I don't really need a second. Only slow us down. Good thing we are well trained with a machete. Very well trained. Long blade coming up to level six. Not bad. All right, how many got left behind? Wrong door. How many got left behind in here? Too many to deal with whilst exhausted. Even if it is just the one. And he's vanished. Not really a good sign. That's all clear in here. I will come back and loot this off camera. So I don't really want the aggro of doing it right now. Give myself a little bit of time to just get this room cleared. Now if we can do this section, that would be a good day. I think that would almost be the whole right corner. Just emptied out. It's not bad going. All right, we're going to have two more big old Zed balls here, aren't we? Maybe only one. That one doesn't look too bad. And this one's got the spear in it. And there's a spear with a machete. Nice. Scrap machete, I think. Get out of here, boy. Come to me, scrap machete. Nice. Let's get you straight in the bag, and let's go to town. Only looks like about five Zeds. We should be okay. Come on. Yeah. No more Zed bombs in here. Lovely. All right, well, I think on that note, this bag of chips is going to mark the end of the episode. We've had a hell of a day. Hell of a day. There's a whole lot of holes in the fence. So I wonder if that's just... It's got to be glitching, right? Surely. But yeah, we've had a hell of a day. It's been busy start to finish. We've got ourselves a new dance. Rip Pops. Should we do it? Foods around the world. they got all sorts. It's like, stockpiled in there. Nice. What was it? Rib Pop. There are so many. Oh, that's the best one as well. Where you at? <laughs> All right, that is going to mark the end of today's episode. What a day it has been. We've cleared, like, this whole right corner section of the prison. It's all up from here. Our little Arthur Valentine, hell of a survivor, is doing bits. And he's celebrating in a good way. Thanks for watching. A massive thanks to the members supporting the channel. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.